welcome to another episode of oh, oh, how many episodes have I done today it's been a, it's, it's been most of the day uh, welcome to the outer wilds last time on the outer wilds what's that oh i hear your your, your transmission it says last time on the outer wilds beep, 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 beep. It, it was, it was, it was, I finally figured out how to get under the current in, in Giant Steep because I went to the Southern Observatory. Wow, very interesting. But we're still not at the center of Giant Steep because we need to also, uh, uh, use a, a, a jellyfish? Okay, we'll figure that out. Uh, that's this episode. Whoops, I'm not tiny enough. Now I'm tiny. All right. Let's go. Here we go. And probably, probably, Gabra might have something to say too about the fact that I got, not, got under the thing. Actually, before we do that, let's jump over here. Southern Observatory, tornado simulation, ocean depths. All right. The ocean is surprisingly calm beneath the current. Some sort of electrical field surrounds the planet's core. Ah, uh, the one is able to detect the eye signal, and based on their knowledge of the quantum moon, the no I believe the eye was in a, a, in a distant orbit around the sun. Um, uh, the no I decided to stop searching for the eye signal and instead look for it visually. Um, there are concerns. The probability of launching a probe in the correct direction would be absurdly small. That's what the orbital probe cannon was for. Shoot more and strong. Uh, most like clones on... Giant sea rotate clockwise, there are cyclones and Nomai used to send components into orbit. There also exists a rarer type of cyclone that spins the opposite direction and pushes objects beneath the waters and below the current. Yes. Um. Well. First things first. Hey, look, it's the thing. First things first. Giant's deep. Let's go. Yeah, we can yum better than that. I'm not even gonna touch none of the buttons. Please don't run into an island! Okay, that is the closest I've gotten. <laughs> It'll happen one day. Alright, let's take a look for the uh, anti-clockwise tornado. I believe it's you. Wait, no it's not. Uh, I, uh, that's sort of where I thought it was last time, and so I just wasn't paying attention. Clockwise, 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 clockwise. I probably passed by it. Clockwise, anti-clockwise. Tornado, push me. We down. All right, step one. Search for any immediate dead jellyfishes that just so happen to be here. Are you a dead jellyfish? Nope, okay. Are you a dead, dead jelly... I'm willing to bet it's not likely there's any dead jellyfishes down here. I'm just sort of praying because it's like, well, I don't have any other ideas. Besides, obviously there is one other option. The dead jellyfish that is in ice. But I can't melt the ice. Unless there is in fact a way to melt the ice. And if there is, how do I melt the ice? Hmm. Hmm. I've been here a few times and it has never really... Ugh. I'm just going to take another look. It's a few jellyfish. They are definitely very dead. Splish. Splish. Donk. Hmm. Because the problem is, is that, like, there's no place to really land. The only place you can land is very hard to traverse to any other place in the island. 
So like, shoot. I guess we can just, uh, wait. Is the island in front of me moving or am I moving? Uh oh, I think the, I think the one we're on is moving. And if so, it's probably on the way to a tornado. If I was to wager a guess. Oh, uh, I'm rolling. Uh, or I'm not rolling. Roll is this controls. I want to be like this. Okay, um. I am observing. Because, like. Yeah. It's not very safe, is it? The only reason I got past was, uh. I just sort of jammed myself into it. It sucks, like, because I know I've got a plan. It is take the jellyfish down. The problem is, yeah, how... But to be fair, it is probably similar to, like, in previous points in the game where I'm like, I, I, I don't know how to do it. And then I find something that explains exactly how to do it. And I'm like, oh, that's how you do it. Um, okay. So, yeah. Ghost matter is a no. Might this be where I want to go? Probably not. Oops. Oh, wow. oh, I'm falling. I'm falling. Uh-oh. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. Wait, maybe this is navigatable. Go around the left. I thought this was not navigatable by foot. Maybe it is. And then it's just this. Okay. All the way down to the core, continue yourself uh, conquered. It was one of the more dramatic feats. Um. Brute force is not the answer. Okay. But. Where. From here. I mean. It is a jellyfish. Like maybe it's hollow inside. Maybe I uh. I know there. Perhaps I'm supposed. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, if you are heading towards the tornado, now is a bit of a bad time. I will manage, but it's going to suck. Alright. Here we go. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm keeping myself planted. Keep myself planted. Keep myself planted. Just stay here. Look at me. I'm so good at keeping myself planted. Come on, get back to landing, and we're fine. Okay, we're fine. We land like this and it's totally safe. Okay, now that that's over. Campfire? I mean, here I am like, oh like, melt the ice please. Well, here's the fire. Doze off. I haven't dozed off yet. I, I've never chosen that option. What happens if I do? I'm pretty sure it's just the end of the loop. Eh, it's early enough. Oh. Oh, interesting. It's a time skip. And stop.
It has been one minute. Eh. Eh. Sometimes it goes through, it's a little weird. I don't think it's supposed to go through. Um. This does not feel like what I'm supposed to do. I think the furthest I was supposed to go was here, and I'm um, like, cool, I made it here, and now I get off. What else? I don't know. Oh, my ship is over here. Cool, cool, cool. Is my ship broken at all? I wouldn't be surprised. No, it's fine. Cool. Um, maybe there's a way up through the bottom. Maybe? If there is, then maybe the ice is hollow. Ah. So here's my theory. Theory time. There's a way to melt the ice and that's what the thing is talking about. That's what the, hold on, hold on. Let's um, land somewhere. This is just as good as landing. All right, so this. Beneath the surface of the, oh, I'm in the way. I was in the way that whole time. Uh, I apologize. Um, so. Subsurface energy readings. This is referring to the fissure in the ice on the interloper sunward side. I cannot go inside because the ice is in the way. What does it say behind you? Should I one or the other way? Lost contact with the other two after they descended below the interloper surface. Right. Yeah, I recall that using that. Because if the in if there is a way to finagle with the ice on the interloper, then that's probably also how I finagle with the ice on Giant's Deep. And therefore I could get the Where is it? It's not even on my list. Um therefore I could get down and into the ocean depths using the corpse. Using the, 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 the jellyfish corpse. But I didn't see anything new on the interloper. It looked exactly like it was uh, never changed and nothing changed. Maybe I missed something with the... Hmm... Strange energy readings come from somewhere beneath the surface. They located a fissure in the ice on the interlopers. Sunward side. They descended inside to investigate. I'm just going to go back to the interloper just in case. Cool light effect. Where are you, interloper? There you are. Give it to me. And don't fly me into the sun, preferably. Mm. Are we flying into the sun? I don't think so. I think we are, in fact, not flying into the sun. Uh, but we got uncomfortably close. Well, you know what we are? Flying close to the ash planet. Alright, screw the... Thing. We are. Uh oh, 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 oh no, oh no. Wait, what do you mean? I was. Okay, okay. Keep. No, lock back on. We got back. I know I'm looking at the interloper again and I found nothing last time and I don't expect to find anything especially useful this time, but maybe I missed something. It's especially close to the sun now, which means 
Maybe it's more melted here. Oh my goodness. Hey? Fissure? Oh, 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 oh! Fissure! 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 Land, land, get me, get me in, get me in. Uh, was it over here? No, it's, it's healing up! Okay. Two things. One. We have a lead. Two. Now we just have a lead. We have a lead. Uh, I, I was not, okay. Okay. I wonder what the weird signal was. Will I finally be able to use this thing for something other than music? Ooh. That's three, three at once. Oh, isn't that nice? Oh, we're getting like six now, or whatever. Okay, no, they are not all at the same tempo, never mind. Is that all of them at once, actually? The only one that's not nearby is the secondary harmonica. Which is this one. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Uh, if you haven't, if you haven't been able to tell, my plan is... Wait until the interloper goes back towards the sun. And just drop into the fissure. Just double checking. Yeah, this is definitely where the fissure was. My ship is totally gonna be fine. I mean, in hindsight, yeah, I guess the sun would melt part of the interloper. But to my credit... Wouldn't you think it would stay melted for a bit longer than that? <laughs> Interlope is cold as heck. I believe we are going back towards the sun. I think. I think. We're probably going back towards the end of the day. It's fine, yeah. And in theory, we will either find two dead bodies or some extra information, or both. There's a good chance we'll find both. We'll find dead bodies and extra information. Um, there is a chance that they, they went in, they figured out a way out, and they escaped. If we find two dead bodies, they did not escape. Um, but that's fine, because that's information nonetheless. Oh, it's a white hole. Oh my god, we're on the other end. I thought we were going closer, we're going, we were going further. We're looping around the white hole. We are bloody far. Would it literally be quicker for me to do another reset? I think it will be. I think it will be. It'll literally be quicker to do another reset. Yeah, we're doing a long episode. Baby, baby. Um... So if we do the loop now, go straight to the interloper, no matter what, no matter what, the interloper is going to be closer than it is right now, so this will be faster. And even if I get zero information out of this, it'll still be something new. No, I'm going to get information out of this, what am I talking about? Of course I'm going to get information out of this. Forgive the stutter. My computer just has to deal with it sometimes. All right. Maybe the blinking open only happens when I die. Hmm. Just like how the, the deep breath happens if I choke myself. <laughs> Is my guesstimation. All right, Interloper, where are you? 
Uh, interloper? Interloper is literally in the exact same spot. Okay, but... But, notably, I've got significantly more time this time. Time, time. Uh, it's on the other side of the sun. Okay. I'm glad I checked. I'm, oh, I'm glad I reset. Alright, interloper. Here we go. And also, interloper, if you will, please do not ram me into the sun. Uh, that would be very nice of you. <laughs> I'm also curious as to if it is true that if I plant my ship on the on the on the far end, if it'll actually freeze over. I kind of want to test it out. I'm curious. I'm going to make it right. Um 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 don't crash me! 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 Don't fine. Okay, stop it, actually. Just... Oh, 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 good. I wanted to land here anyway. Donk. See if my hypothesis is correct. And if it does freeze over, then... Uh, I'm just reset again. And this will be a super long episode. <laughs> I mean, hopefully not. Um. Alright, Interloper. You are getting explored this time. I'm going in your god dang fissure. Whether you want me to or not. And you definitely want me to. Because you can't stop me this time. I'm like magic. I'm like so good at this that no matter. <laughs> look at me ice skate. Oh, look at me go. Wee! Woo! Oh, you know what? It doesn't look as awkward once you realize my fire, my rockets are firing. Um, I probably shouldn't be, shouldn't waste my uh, uh, rocket fuel now to think about it. Not like I'm gonna use much of it on the interloper. By far the smallest thing I can land on. I think. I mean, does the sun station count? Is the white hole station smaller than this? Maybe. I don't know. This is the... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. One thing's for sure. We are on the way to the sun. The fissure will open up. I will fall through and I will inevitably be crushed immediately. <laughs> Once the ice forms back up, I, oh, here we go. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Fissure time. Let me in. Inside. Ah. Perfect. And around I go. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. You didn't tell me there was going to be terrifying goop nearby. We're near the sun now. It's very hot, but I'm good. Oh. Uh, huh. Oh, we got no my stuff. We got plants? Oh, I want to go there. It is literally right here. <laughs> okay, uh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, um, where's the goop? Okay, this immediate room seems fine. All right. Are there, in fact, Two corpses. I don't necessarily see any. I'm receiving much stronger energy readings now that we're beneath the crust. Whatever it is must lie somewhere below, close to the comet center. And I'm starting to think it's more dangerous than we realized. Could it be Goop? Clary, can you hear us? Yes, but your voices are faint. I fear we will lose communication entirely if you continue any deeper. Keep the shuttle warm for us, Clary. We'll return the moment we identify the source of the energy readings. I understand, but be cautious, both of you. Well, good news. I don't think I care that much about communication. Okay. Don't go that way. How about left? Okay, it's not going to go left. How about this way? 
That was left. Okay. Both of those leave to lead to death. How about this way? Because I want to find out what this dangerous thing you're talking about is. This one looks safe. That one looks safe. Let me just double check. This one is... Not safe. Okay. So. That's where I came from. Both of those lead to the same one. This one is safe. Uh, uh, ooh. Mario Kart. Hold up. Stop here. Oh, I stop here anyway. Um... Oh, we've got the succum uh, circumference. We've got a compass here. Oh, that's oh, oh. What's that? It's a hmm, interesting formation. Hmm. So jumping down would be Swissy D. So don't jump down. How about over there? Wait. Ah, actually, I can go up there, can't I? Just gotta be wary full of my gravity. Okay, we're fine. Okay. This is safe. Okay. All oh, this is safe. Wait, is this the pit? This is the pit. Now, this is where I just were. So, this is new. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, right hole. Left hole. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. It's... I can get down if I go in the right hole and then the left hole. I should probably keep watching it. Right hole. Let me chuck it in the left side now. I want to go on the right hole. And then, yes, the left hole is definitely safe. Right hole, left hole. Follow it down, follow it down, follow it down, follow it down. Follow it down, follow it down, follow it down. Land. Uh-oh. No. Oh, no. Follow it down, but there is a pit, and the pit is... <sighs> right hole, left hole. Right hole, left hole. Right hole, left hole. Right hole. Uh, uh, left hole, left hole, left hole, left hole. Uh, stop sliding. Please slide slower. Okay. Okay, we're on the North Pole now. Or oh, North Pole-ish. Relative to... anyway. <sighs> goop down there. Lots of goop. Do not go near the goop. Slide around, slide around, slide around. Do not... Just go up here, just go up here, just go up here. The screen went red for a second. It's because that's the texture. I thought that was me dying. Down here is... So much goop. There is so much goop down there. Is that a corpse? Oh no, we found one of the two corpses! It's not shifting. It's got crystals in it. It died by goop! The goop killed you! Alright. One of you is dead. This will lead me to the room safely. What is that? Oh! That's the second corpse! Oh no. Oh jeez. And this is the center of the planet, I think. Zero gravity. Zero... Okay. Ship log updated? I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> I guess you can say that. Is this the origin of the goop? The spherical stone casings here seem to be the source of the energy readings. No, rather, the source is what's within the stone. I'm detecting some form of exotic matter. The stone is 
Muting our energy readings, they should be ten times what we're seeing at li- Are you saying there's goop and I can't see it? Oh, so, okay, if I go any closer it will kill me, is that what you're saying? The stone is muting our energy readings, they should be ten times what we're seeing at least. Pi, I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact with it would be al almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing, but it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Oh, never mind. So the casing are the, the crystals and they're shattering? Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Pi, whatever the matter inside the stone casing is, it's more than just profoundly unstable. It's under tons of pressure. Look at this density scan. I've never seen anything this tightly compacts before. Compacted before. What is this? Uh, this is or okay. These are them both talking to each other. This is oops. This is order of magnitude. Uh, wait, oops. Order is a magnitude worse than I'd imagined. If this stone were to rupture, the lethal matter within would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. Oh, and the, can't read, and the pressure is still, thank you, and the pressure is still building as Comet, as the Comet approaches this star system. I mean, it's already in it. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends need to know they're in da terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing, Pi? The more we know about this alien matter, the better chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go on the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Now, Perk. And then they died. Okay. Whoa. That launched me back. Just like the throwing the hammer thing. Okay, so this might actually be safe to go near. Because it's not exploded. But what if I touch it? Donk. Nah, that's fine. I need to rupture it, and I'm probably not strong enough for that. Is my guess. Could be wrong. Okay. Um, what now? Is there any other direction we could possibly go? Okay, this hole is a big no. That hole is a no. Okay, that hole is a no. This is not a hole. This we've already taken a look at. This is a big no hole. Okay, two no holes. No hole, no hole. Uh, anything else? Uh, we might be done here. But I also don't know if I'll have the best chance of escaping. I'm low on O2 and fuel as well. Ah. So... Chances are, this is the end of the road, and you're probably supposed to- Oh, we're back at the sun! Oh no. Well, now we're definitely not making our way out if- If, like, this- Oh. Well, let's kneel my bit. Let's see. Can I make it? da 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 And then I need to go back up the- Uh-oh. Well... You know what I think? I think this is a cycle best ended ourselves. Nice and peacefully. Stretch. <sighs> Whoa, looking a bit wild there. So, 
fun interloper exploration. But... Stop. Hey, look, there it is. Um, but did we learn anything that relates to the... I mean... No, you know what? Here I was complaining that we knew nothing about the goop. We finally know something about the goop. Okay. Fair. Maybe the reason why there's no information about the goop is because it hadn't spread anywhere. Um, and then it starts spreading places after the gnome I already dead. Or, alternatively, it's what kills off the Nomai, huh? How about that? That would make sense. Um, and so therefore, there's a bunch of goop everywhere, but where are the only ones left to explore it because it wasn't around being bad uh, when the Nomai were about? Hmm, hmm, we've got information. All right, that'll be it for this episode then. Uh, nice length episode, even though we didn't finish either loop. Um, thank you so much for coming along. I hope you had a good time. Um, next episode will probably be the last one of this recording se session because for some reason I want to go for one more. And goodness gracious me, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. We're gonna learn things. I think. I mean, to be fair, I d I'm back to not knowing what to do next. Um. See you in a bit. Uh, and by in a bit, I mean the next episode. See, see you in the next episode. Goodbye!